Hey guys, you're watching Fred Team K Gaming. My name is Fred, and this is the Sexton One British Tier 3A Premium Artillery Vehicle introduced in the latest patch. So, what's so interesting about the Sexton One? Well, first, it's almost an exact copy of this, the Sexton Two, which you can find in the regular British RT branch. So we basically have two almost identical vehicles. Um, if we compare the stats of these we can see that, let's bring up both of them. So the Saxon 1 is the premium vehicle, the Saxon 2 is the regular vehicle. They both have the same hit points, 140. They both have the same weight. The Saxon 2 gets a little bit more powerful engine. Speed limit is the same. The traverse speed on the, the premium vehicle is actually better than on the regular one. The armor is almost the same. This, the Saxon 2 does have 7 mm uh, side armor, uh, more than the Saxon 1 does. We got uh, the same gun, it's exactly the same. If you look at the gun, it's exactly the same, it's an exact copy. The only difference is the name. This, game, this gun is named Mark II, this gun isn't. These w values are exactly the same. So yeah, um, rate of fire, gun traverse, tra uh, traverse speed, view range, signal range. Uh, yeah, 20 meters more. Um, yeah, but it's more or less the same. It's really um, we got we've got the same ammo capacity. <sighs> really, we've we've got two identical vehicles. So, you know, I don't know when it was, but when they introduced this one, the LAFR 18B2 RT, um, they did did this before they released the regular RT branch of the French um, so that uh, people could go ahead buy one of these and train uh, already their crew so they could jump from this to this and had already a, a pretty well trained crew for a tier 6 vehicle and could go on but um, with the Saxon 1 they didn't do this they originally said they wanted to introduce it uh, in patch 8.5 or 8.6 but they didn't they d delayed it and yeah so really and again it's 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 the same vehicle it's, it's really the same vehicle so i really don't understand why why they introduced this at all um it even plays the same so Anyone that wants uh, one of these can easily go ahead and just grab this. It's free, it doesn't cost any gold, so yeah. It's very strange. Apart from some looks of this, but yeah. It doesn't really matter at all. Um, the only thing that uh, this thing may be useful for is for training your uh, other RT crews in this um, during special events so you can get times three or even more crew experience more often but <sighs> yeah so that's it really the, the only thing you know um, so yeah um, but let's go ahead and compare the guns compare this gun to the other tier 3 artillery guns because let's face it the gun is the most important thing um, an RT has the rest on tier 3 the rest is more or less garbage it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, this one this one um and the uh, no this one oh i forgot the russians um no silly me um 
yeah, the Su-26 actually lost its 122mm mortar in one of the last, I think it was an 8.6 where they nerfed artillery. Um, so, we've got for the Sexton 280 damage, 5 rounds a minute. Um, yeah. 0 0.76 uh, si accuracy and 5.5 second aiming time. The SU-26 has less damage, better accuracy, better aiming time and more rate of fire, almost double. Um, so yeah, I think you, you could already consider this one better than this. So, um, this one from the priest does have less rate of fire, worse accuracy, same aiming time, more damage. Uh, so really it's it's not that bad compared to um compared to this gun, but you know it's not it doesn't shine in 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 any category i think it's it's the same if you compare it against those. More or less, less rate of fire, high bigger caliber, more damage, more penetration, worse accuracy, worse aiming time, more weight. So yeah, it's it's really it's not that bad, but it doesn't really shine in any category. It's not that it's got something that's much better than most of the others um, have with their guns. So yeah. So I would say the gun is pretty average. Um, oh, that's the wrong vehicle. Um, yeah, radio, tier A, tier five. It's it's a pretty standard vehicle. They're both the same. Um, so yeah. Really, um, it does have quite quite a lot of armor compared to the others. They g generally, I think, don't have that much. Let's just check. Oh well, the priest does <laughs> actually. Um, um, mm -mm. But the Vesper doesn't, the Bison doesn't, this thing doesn't at all, um, yeah, and they don't have RT. So yeah, um, the armor isn't that bad, but it's not that special really. It does have a good ammo capacity, but it's it's a big target also, so maybe, um, well, let's talk about crew skills. Um, now this is my section 2 uh, crew. Um, I've got them in there because I'm going to show you to replace one of this thing and one of this so we can actually see if, if there are some hidden stats you know if there is some if if there's any difference at all because you know there's gotta be some at least I think so maybe but uh, we're gonna see that uh, later um, for crew skills for artillery definitely camouflage this is my first option with every vehicle um, and then the last patch or was it 8.6 um, they changed the um, the camo mechanics actually not for this but for these camos here for all these and for the camouflage net so it gives a fixed bonus th so that means if you got a big vehicle that is detected quite easily um, prior to 8.6 uh, that wouldn't uh, you could put 10 camo nets on it 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 still wouldn't matter because if you get a, a percentage bonus bonus of 5% and your camo value is almost zero 5% of zero is still zero so you don't have anything but but they changed um the mechanics and now actually camouflage net and um camo paint you can apply on your vehicles um 
does give a fixed bonus. So um, you're still going to get a bonus and not like 0.0005% or something like this. Um, the Camo skill still wasn't changed, so it uh, still it gives a percentage bonus, but nonetheless, repairs, it doesn't matter. If, you, if you're in a close combat and you need repairs, you're dead anyway. So, camouflage as the first, So you because you want to stay hidden as long as possible. Um, yeah. Um... This is actually the gunner I'm just realizing. Um, well, we don't need this. Um, this is not effective with HE shells, so you, so you don't really need that. Um, you don't really need any of these skills. Um, as uh, for the second skill, maybe go with Brothers in Arms. Um, Commander, Camouflage, Brothers in Arms, maybe if you choose that way. Um, if not, you could, of, um, of course, take six cents. This is always useful. Eagle Eye, maybe, but, you know, Recon, maybe, if you want to spot targets yourself. If, if you're the last left in your team, that can happen in Tier 3. Don't underestimate this. You could use or, uh, you could use Recon. Mentor's always a good um, thing. Jack of all trades, again, if you are damaged. And uh, I don't think you really need any of these. Um skills and repairs for an artillery vehicle. So yeah, um for the driver. Um camouflage. Clutch braking maybe, but uh, it does have a pretty good firing arc so you not really. So you don't really need this but well you can you you can take it. Um off road driving again you're standing still most of the time, so it uh, doesn't really matter. Ramming speed, no. Um, yeah, so camouflage, maybe be brothers in arms. Um, yeah. Radio man, um, camouflage. View range, maybe extend signal range. Signal boosting could be useful. Um, so you can stay in touch with your allies longer. Um, Call for vengeance, no, that that's good for scouts. Um, so yeah, S situational awareness maybe. Um, may maybe relaying, but I don't know. Probably signal boosting, si situational awareness, camouflage, brothers in arms. Um, for the loader, camouflage. Yeah, you don't really need this, seriously. Any of these, maybe intuition. Um yeah. And for the second loader, maybe the same. Well not intuition the same um again but yeah. Camouflage brothers in arms. So that's that for the crew skills. I find that um most artillery vehicles do have the same kind of skills. As you can see, my T92. I do have um, I do have this one trained as the first skill, six cents, and a camouflage again, camouflage, and then um, recon and some some other stuff. But basically, it's just and also some repairs. But it's just because I'm already at at the third skill and. I don't really know what to take anymore. Camouflage here. GW Panther. 48% crew. Also camouflage. A gunner skill, but I think... Oh yeah, that's useless. <laughs> Gotta retrain that. Um, so yeah. Let's take a quick look at available equipment for this machine. Um, toolbox, again, repairs, we don't really need that. Um, enhanced gun laying drive would be useful to just get that aiming speed a little bit down or up um, to maybe 
hit those moving targets a, a little bit better. Um, also, uh, artillery shell rammer, of course, always useful. Telescope, maybe, if you, again, if you're the last uh, on your team and need to rely on your own spotting, then maybe this would be an option. This not, because you're not spotting on the move. This is good for scouts. Small line of protection from ramming, no suspension, load capacity, ammo rate, durability, always. That's <coughs> nothing for artillery and camo net, that's, that's always quite useful. So I would go with camo net, medium artillery, shell rammer and, and gun lane drive. Um, regarding the consumables um, I just put in the standard consumables I put in, in almost every tank because I don't think that um, artillery vehicles are in need of any of these premium um, premium consumables of course if if you're not short on gold and then you can use these large kits but Use them on your heavies and mediums, no, but not on your arty. That's that's not useful um, most of the time. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's take a look at some games. So this was a game on province I played with the Saxon 2, the regular Saxon, um, and it's actually the first game with artillery I'm playing on this map. Um, so I'm trying to get just as far away as possible from from the action. Um, I'm just trying to um, provide overwatch and covering fire. Um, as you can see in the um, as you can see here, the um, firing arc is actually not um, straight, so you can aim a little more to the left than to the right. Um, Reload time is about uh, 12 seconds. So, and I fit that, what was it, M2 medium, I think. Um, 48 damage. Yeah. I think that's okay for a Q3 uh, vehicle. As you can see, 95 shells of HE ammo. Uh, ammunition and 17 shells of AP loaded and that one misses so of course the uh, the aiming time the reload and now I don't have any uh, any equipment fitted or 100% uh, crew of course it, it does get better if you do have all those things but um, I don't so but still, it's 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 not that bad, I think. Of course, it does miss, but again, with 50% gunner, that's not really surprising. That's an LTP, small target. I'm trying to, but I'm going for it anyway. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the cruiser. No, LTP again. But no, misses. So yeah, he's getting hammered anyway. Um, it's kind of difficult to hit these uh, these small targets, but the accuracy is is kind of okay. It's not that bad. The damage output is um, well. We only really had one hit, 48 damage. I think it's not that bad for a gun that only does 240. I think it's 240. No, 280. But, but still, I think it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going a little downhill to extend that range a little bit. It does have very good range. You can uh, shoot. Um, over the the entire map, also on on bigger maps like uh, Corellia, I tried that out. It does work. Yeah, I'm not aimed. Trying to help that Panzer one C, but it's difficult. And I'm firing, but he's dead. But that one actually hit. So yeah.
So now I'm trying to get them to do something and s uh, uh, different, more effective instead of just uh, sitting on the ridge line and basically camping there. But uh, I know it's it's tier three. There are many. Um, let me call them inexperienced players. So maybe I really I can't really expect too much expect too much of them. And there was some trees falling um, and shot fired, but I didn't really see from where it was f uh, from from what angle it uh, came. There's a Panzer 38, and hit, and that's not bad. 213 damage for that gun. Not bad at all, and and it did hit. <coughs> so there's this mod too, and we're here again. <laughs> that's not bad. Well, just 38 damage, but you know, I'll take it for 50% gunner. I take it. Um, so yeah, basically only two enemies left, but the rest of the game nothing really happens, I can't hit them and in the end, uh, we lost, um, <laughs> because our LTP on B8 wasn't doing anything, so yeah, um, we lost that one. So that's a battle with the Saxon 1 premium RT and I do realize right away it's it's a little bit more sluggish not really that much slower but it's more sluggish so but that's the only thing really um, it does turn a, a little bit slower you see um, same ammo capacity same firing arc basically same same reload basically same of everything um, so yeah I'm just trying to cover the left, uh, the right side here. Um, right from the start, that wasn't a really good game. We did lose quite badly. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't really hit that much. But again, it, it's the same gun, so I don't really think we would have gotten uh, that much of a different uh, result in the end. So yeah, 12 splash damage. So this gun isn't do going to do any splash damage. Um, looks. Trying to aim for him, shooting. No, no luck. No dice. M5 Stewart. Lots of enemies. T28. Juicy target. It's big. It doesn't have any armor. It can be easily penetrated. But no, can't hit him. M3 Lee, maybe. Can I reload in time? Oh, uh, no. Can I? Yes, maybe. No. <laughs> Go for the further looks instead. Firing. No. Again. So yeah. Didn't hit that one. T28. And now they're basically... <coughs> Excuse me, um, just capping the base and I'm being spotted. So, that's it. I'm getting killed in a second, so yeah, that's it. So, what's the conclusion on this Sexton 1 British Tier 3 premium artillery piece? To be honest, I don't think it's worth buying. I really don't. Um, personally, I've had a lot of more fun with this with the French tier 5 premium RT 
the LAFR 18B2. Um, for a number of reasons, um, it actually can do some damage. Um, it does have quite some good premium art, uh, rounds. And I think it's just overall the better vehicle. It does have, for tier 5, its armor is really not bad. And I really think it's 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 more fun. Well, it does have. It even has more rate of fire. It f it fires quicker than this and does a lot of more damage with this gun. So really, um, I would recommend if you want a low tier premium artillery just for fun and not for t uh, training your British artillery crew. I would recommend getting this one if. Um, if it would be on uh, on sale still, which unfortunately it isn't, they removed it from the in-game store. I don't know if you can get it through the gift shop or anything, but they removed it from the from the in-game in, in store. I'm sorry, um, so you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame um, because it really is more fun than than uh, than this and. It's the only other premium RT available in the game, I think. Um, yeah. So, that's that. No other premium artillery available. So, again, I don't really think this is a good tank. Not necessarily a bad one, but it's it's really it's the same, and just for crew training, I, th I think it doesn't it doesn't justify it, it's it's um, its appearance in the game, and I don't think it's worth buying in the end. So, and that's going to bring this analysis um, to an end. Um, basically, um, if you like this uh, this video, uh, please rate, um, give it a thumbs up. Maybe um, subscribe if you like my content, so there will be more in the future. So um, stay tuned for that, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.